Today on the channel, our AEW match Series unboxings continue with the evil one, Evil Uno. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another AEW Unmatched Series 3 unboxing and review. And today, from the Dark Order wave, we've got Evil Uno. And when I think of the Dark Order pre-Mr. Brody Lee, of course, you always think of Evil Uno. He was the guy that was the driving force, to me at least, for the Dark Order. So very fitting he gets in this first wave of Dark Order figures. We still got a couple characters that'll hopefully come in maybe very soon. Uh, but Evil Uno is one we have to have. And you know me, I love me some masked figures. I love face paint. I love big figures. Well, he is definitely a bigger figure. He is definitely a masked figure. So this one going to score pretty highly for Kyle. Hopefully it does at least. We'll see what happens when we get out of the package. And of course, speaking of packaging, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. Take a look at the packaging, talk about it, unbox it, talk about it, see where it goes from there. And Evil Uno always kind of reminds me, at least body, body type style, a little bit of Mick Foley. They got a very similar kind of body style to them. Evil Uno, kind of a wrestler manager as well, is kind of how I, he's like a player coach. He's like a young Pete Rose back in the day is what he reminds me of. But let's take a look at the packaging here. Evil Uno, looking only like an Evil Uno could look. You know, Evil Uno in English is the Evil One. Yep, there you go. You learn something new every day on this channel here. You got nice hands down here, all kinds of hands. Man, the Jazz Warriors team knows what Kyle wants. He wants hands. I've been preaching it for a long time. He does come with a microphone, which is also fitting, as we know he talks on the microphone a lot for really a spokesperson for the Dark Order, I would say. Uh, so we get a microphone with him. That is very cool. Got the Upper Deck uh, little logo over there, as we know. Beautiful idea, Upper Deck, Jazzwares partnering together, bringing card fans into the wrestling figure game, maybe bringing wrestling figure guys into the card game. Who knows? It's a natural tie-in, and it's what we call in the old business, building that basket. How can we build that basket? How can we get people buying more stuff? That's how you do it. You do tie-ins. And we see it a lot in like the grocery world, for example. You buy you know, uh, ketchup and you get a free pack of buns, or you buy some meat, you get a free pack of buns. Uh, it's almost similar to that. And you're always looking, how can we get advantage? What can we do differently? How can we partner? And I think Upper Deck and Jazzwares got a winning combination right here. Beautiful glamour shot right there. You know what he reminds me of the first time I saw him? It reminds me of old school Mr. Bungle. You guys know I'm a big Mike Patton fan. Faith the more Mr. Bungle. Old Kyle back in uh, his early, early, was it late high school or early college? I don't know. Time, what is it anymore with COVID days? But old Mr. Bungle and me, I got to go backstage at a Mr. Bungle show. I helped Mike Patton run some errands for him. I picked up uh, Mario Golf for Game Boy back in the day for him as he was looking for that. I picked it up, got to hang out backstage. He paid me back. Uh, it was quite the time for young Kyle getting to hang out with Mr. Bungle, one of my all-time favorite bands. And Evil Uno always reminds me of the inception of Mr. Bungle when they used to wear these kind of masks and crazy stuff like that. Uh, and if you guys know Slipknot from my area, right down the street, maybe my same high school, uh, they were also very much influenced by Mr. Bungle back in the day. So the more you know, kids, the more you know. But Evil Uno looking great. Love this glamour shot there. All lead on the side. What is he? Number 19. And of course, Series 3. A little glamour shot right there. All lead on this side. UPCs. Nobody cares about that stuff on the bottom. Then you got Evil Uno throwing up the old gang sign right there. You got his autograph, of course. And then you got the rest of the Dark Order in the cross cell down below. As you guys know, we're unboxing every single member of AEW Unmatched Series 3 on the channel here. At the end of the week, we're going to put them all in order. I'm going to put it from my least favorite to my favorite. So you'll want to stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. So there you go. Without further ado, let's get the evil one out of the package. And I haven't figured out a science yet because I'm always so worried I'm going to destroy these cards. Uh, that's the last thing we want to do, like pop a hole in there. We don't want to bend these cards up. Nothing worse than bent cards. I remember that from my card days. Uh, come on, rookie unboxing here. I'm trying to be gentle. I might have to cut that tape on the bottom in the future. Boy, well, we'll get there. See you later. There it is, Spider-Man style right there. Look at this. This is just a, a mess. What are we doing? So there it is. Got it out. Got the pack right there. We're going to save that, and we're going to do an unboxing of all the action figure packs. Action figure packs? Card packs, how about? We'll unbox these all in a separate video for you card heads out there or anybody that wants to see that. Myself included. It's going to be interesting. It's been a long time since I've got cards. See you later. Up high. There it is. Oh, this is a good one, guys. Evil Uno right there. 
looking pretty awesome. Boy, this looks tremendous. This looks like a tremendous figure. He's going to be high on my list, I think, at the end of the week. We'll see how it shakes out. Evil Uno. There we go. Throwing stuff. See you later. Get out of here. All right, his microphone fell out. He's got the AEW mic, AEW on all sides. A uh, nice mic. We've had them in the past. Getting the most out of your molds. It makes sense. We need microphones. need more microphones. I would like to see this be just a hair larger, though. It just seems a hair small for what I'm looking for in a microphone, but it's not the end of the world for sure. Then you get down to all these extra hands, and man, they're not messing around. Jazzwares team, they went from no extra hands, no fists, to let's throw every single thing we can give to the people. Hey, I'm okay with it. I'm all right with it. And we got two fisted hands right here. Love a good fisted hand. You guys know I've been a proponent for the fisted hands for a long time, so I love what I'm seeing. And then you get the old uh, Dark Order hand here going up. Yeah, throw up the old Dark Order. Join today. So we got that, and then we got a gripping hand as well right there. Then on him, we get another two gripping hands. Is that the exact same gripping hand? Not a lot of difference, but I guess this is the mic holding hand, and this is just a little bit more of a gripping hand. But holy cow, do I love this figure. I tell you what, this is absolutely tremendous. Uh, beautiful tight elbow joints on that. You guys know it's been a long, long-standing critique for me. Uh, beautiful tight elbows. Nice wrist wrap here of the white, the removable hands, of course. Articulation is the same as we've seen with all these other AEW Unrivaled or Unmatched figures. you got double-jointed elbows, double-jointed knees, thigh and bicep swivel. The head moves all around, up and down. you got the waist that moves, the diaphragm in the middle, of course. Ankle articulation and calf articulation. But man, the purple and black attack on this just is tremendous looking. And then the mask is nightmare fuel. Eva Ludo in person in the on TV isn't the scariest looking guy, but this looks like a dude that means business. The, I feel like his character on TV needs to uh, make himself more dark like this character looks in figure form. Does that make sense? Because this looks like nightmare fuel a little bit. I mean, this looks like old school Mr. Bungle. I love the teeth on the mask. I like the silver studs throughout the mask, the circle on the side. Uh, the purple highlights on this one really do make it uh, pop. An absolute tremendous figure. And this is truly one of the best AEW figures we have gotten. Uh, and what this is, is this a guy that stands out. This stands out as AEW has a ton of wrestlers under contract, but not a lot of guys that stand out with masks and face paint. We got just a lot of little guys that all kind of look the same and do the same kind of moves. He is truly looking like something different. So I really do like that aspect. Maybe not the greatest wrestler. Maybe not anybody's favorite wrestler. I'm sure there's somebody is. Uh, but this is something on a shelf that is going to stand out against the rest of the guys we have. Tremendous, tremendous toyetic figure. Uh, doesn't get much cooler than this. You get the white socks here that really pop, and then the tongue on the boots here in purple. An absolute fantastic figure is this of Evil Uno. I never would have thought I would have liked this figure as much as I do. I like the expression in the eyes, the dark soul in the eyes here, for the Dark Order, of course. Just absolutely fantastic, absolutely tremendous. Uh, the shirt is not removable. I mean, you could probably pull the arms off and everything if you really wanted it off, but he doesn't wrestle without it. This is destined to stay on forever. He does have the knee pads as well. Tremendous, guys. Tremendous, tremendous. I think this is the sleeper one of the set. I was expecting it to be fairly cool, a masked wrestler, a face-painted wrestler. That's always cool. You know what I am. Uh, but this one blew me away. Really blows me away once I get this in hand. So I can't say enough nice things about this Evil Uno figure. Uh, definitely a must-have. Don't sleep on Evil Uno. Uh, I'm not sure when we're going to get another one, uh, but this one is absolutely fantastic. But what do you think in the comments down below on Evil Uno? Let me know your thoughts on this figure. Let me know on Evil One himself. You know, as I said, we're learning Spanish here today. We're learning English. We're going back and forth. We're a bilingual channel at this point. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Support the channel. So for the evil one, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.